Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and iOS 13.4.5 beta 2 has been out for a couple weeks at this point and iOS 13.4.5 public beta one has been out for about a week. And so I've been using it primarily on my iPhone 11 pro max. I do have it on a few other de devices as well. And soon I should have it on this new iPhone SE. I was thinking about switching over to this for the review, which I normally do. So I'll probably place my SIM card into this pretty soon. Now, as far as the update itself, well, using it over the few weeks has revealed some issues with it for me. So in particular, I'll talk about my issues and then we'll take a look at some of the extra comments that have been added to the original poll on the YouTube community poll since there's over 10,000 votes now. Now, the first thing I've been having issues with is freezing. I've had random freezing throughout, particularly in apps like Twitter and Instagram. Sometimes they'll just lock up in general. Other times, if I go into settings and I scroll, it will lock up and freeze. And I'm not sure why this keeps happening, but it seems to be an ongoing issue with this particular update. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I do see it quite often. I've also had it actually stop responding to touch. So I could try and do something. Maybe I was in notes. All of a sudden it wouldn't respond. I'd actually have to turn the display off, turn it back on, unlock it, and then it would work fine. So I've had some weird issues there. And then also I've had some other people talk about the phone getting a little bit warm and I've experienced similar things once. So what I had to do was hard turn it off or hard reboot. And you do that by, well, either on a device with face ID, you do that by volume up, volume down, then press and hold the power button and keep holding it until it fully reboots and then comes back up. So I've had to do that once it took care of the heat issue with it getting a little bit warm. So there's definitely some things going on with this particular update that needs to be resolved. But right now uh, it's kind of, a, it's an earlier beta. So I would expect that sort of behavior. However, there is another major issue with iOS 13.4.1 that was discovered this previous week with a text bug crash. Now I'm not going to show it to you because it could crash your device, but basically it completely crashes the device. You'll either have to hard reboot it or turn it off and back on. And in the worst case scenario, you'll, you'll actually have to restore. And so other than the bugs with this beta, it's pretty odd that it's sort of a early beta and still having some weird issues. So it seems like Apple may release either iOS 13.4.5 on Tuesday, or maybe we'll have that pushed back a little bit further and instead have iOS 13.4.2 to address issues that have been present as far as that text crash message, as well as some other security vulnerabilities with the mail app. So there's been some information about that. Now, Apple says no one has actually had any breaches with security, but the mail app security issue is a big one. And so with all of that, there probably will be something Tuesday as Tim Cook has actually said that APIs will be available for the current issue going on as far as that going for developers to be able to track devices and things should you opt into that. Now that will be with the this Tuesday. So that means it's either a beta update or maybe something else. So I would expect at least some sort of update on Tuesday and then who knows from there, but we're not really sure. iOS 13.4.5 may be out this coming week or probably 13.4.2. We just don't know until we get a little bit more information and we should know that Tuesday, of course. Now, as far as battery life on this particular update, well, it's a beta, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. It means it could get better. My battery health on this device is still 99% after six months, more than six months now. And over the last 10 days, you can see the battery with this beta. It varies greatly. So yesterday I had three hours and 41 minutes of screen on time, two hours and eight minutes of screen off time. And that's playing music or something like that. And I used about 50% of my battery. I find that this particular update is not as good as beta one or iOS 13.4.1. That doesn't mean it won't be better by the time 13.4.5 comes out. It just means this beta, they're doing some other things. And so the battery is not what it was before. So about eight hours of screen on time is what I'm experiencing with this. Should I let the battery run out? Normally 10 to 12 is normal for an iPhone 11 pro max. Now, as far as issues you are experiencing, here are all the issues mentioned in the comments that we're going to talk about in a moment with the YouTube community poll. And these are all of the issues mentioned, such as battery 48 times. Some people mentioned it multiple times. So that doesn't mean there's 48 problems or good things about it. it just means that's how many times it was mentioned. 
Now here's all of the different devices mentioned this time in the poll, and you can see everyone using different devices. iPhone SE, it was only mentioned three times. So I'm assuming many people have not picked up the new iPhone SE yet. So we're just waiting for that. Now in the YouTube community poll, I posted it a week ago. So there are a bunch of other comments. In fact, there's over a hundred new comments that I went through to get you all those numbers. I showed you a moment ago, but over 10,000 votes. So at this point, 15% of you are saying it's great. 2% are saying it's terrible, which is actually pretty good. And only 5% are saying, okay, but some bugs. So that means 7% are having issues with it. 15% are saying it's great. And 61% of you are still on a public version or older version. 17% of you are using Android. Now at this point, there's 187 comments. So thank you for everyone that commented. And like I said, I got all of the information listed here as far as the problems and things based off this information. Now we'll take a look at some of these because some of these comments are from a week ago. So we'll take a look at some of the newer ones and they have to pertain specifically to iOS 13.4.5. So the first one that does says Wi-Fi keeps dropping out, but most part iOS 13.4.5 beta two has been fast and battery feels like it lasts longer. Anyone know how to disable CPU throttling on iOS 13? I still have 86% of my battery health, but I've noticed already a very huge performance drop. If you see that the only way to disable CPU throttling, if it's throttling, most likely it's not, but as if you go to battery health, it will either say peak performance capability, or it will give you an option to unthrottle the phone. If it says peak performance capability, it's running as fast as it possibly can drain my battery on my iPhone 11 pro too fast and had odd Wi-Fi issues connects and reconnects in places where I did not have issues before downgraded to the previous gold master or the previous public release. We'll take a look at a couple more as many of these are older 13.4.5 beta two on my 11 pro max, no issues whatsoever. Battery life running very well. Looking forward to the next beta, hopefully even better public beta. 13.4.5 is running perfectly in my iPhone seven has some minor bugs. Otherwise I think it is better than the previous version running iOS 13.4.5 beta two on my iPhone 11. Everything runs smooth. No more heat problems while playing or fast charge battery life. It's okay. Overall it's great. Only there are times that I lost connection to Wi-Fi and may take a few minutes to reconnect. No issues with LTE or cellular signal though. So that's it for iOS 13.4.5 beta two or public beta one. I'm curious to see what Apple will do this coming week. As far as releases, either a beta or possibly a public release, which I hope they do to patch the text message bug, as well as the email bug, since the text message bug is actually patched in iOS 13.4.5. So they can either update to that or a different public version as we have a few numbers in between. Now, of course, we're all looking forward to iOS 14 in June to see what new features they have. So as long as Apple does the keynote from home or remotely, like they said they were going to, iOS 14 should be shown for the first time in June and then probably release in September or later. But let me know what you think will be in iOS 14 in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.